ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸುಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ ಕಿಪಿಂಧು ಪಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹನು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿತೂಷಿ ದೇವೈಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಪದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ವಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನುದುಪಾಲಿಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದವಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನೀರ್ಥ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾ ಕಲಾಪ 
Gauri Nirantara Vibhushi Tavama Bhagam Narayano Priya Mananga Madapaharam Bharana Sipurapati Bhajavi Shanatham Vagi Sajusho Badani Lakshmi Jasya Bhakshasi Jasya Stede Sambhi Tam Nishinga Maham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Yad Kirtanam Jasmaranam Jadikshanam Yad Bandhanam Jad Sravanam Jadarhanam Lokasya Shadda Vidunoti Kalmasam Tasmai Shivadra Shavase Namo Namaha Yad Kirtanam Jasmaranam Jadikshanam Yad Vandanam Jasravanam Jadarhanam Lokasya Shadda Vidunoti Kalmasam Tasmai Shivadra Shavase Namo Namaha Gaudiya Goshtipati Gaudiya Goshtipati Shishila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagat Guru told that what is Harinam actually? What is that object? In order to understand that, we need uh, Sharanagati onto lotus feet of Sadguru. What is Harinam? What is that object? Prabhupada speaking. Kodi Goshtipati, Shishila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Jagat Guru Prabhupada told that what is that object Harinam, that is topmost diamond. Harinam is not a, a Chetan object, it is not a temporary, it is not a mentally concocted word, it is not that, it is not a, not a destruction of some word. Harinam he is not at all a Chetan uh, word and if someone is thinking that it is just a mentally concocted word, it is also not that. Our material, that um, material object that we can just see that by our material eyes it is not possible. That is not at all possible with our material eyes also. That whatever we are seeing this um, materialistic things with our material eyes, it is not like that. That Harinam is Bhagavat Avatar, Swayam Bhagwan. That Shri Nam is Hari only himself, Prabhupada speaking. That Shri Hari and Shri Harinam are not different from each other. Both are equal. Shri Harinam is a Prakrit Vastu. That is Paripurna Vastu, topmost. In itself it is complete. That Harinam is topmost Shaktiman, he is Swayam Bhagwan himself. That Harinam, Prabhu, he is Swayam Bhagwan himself. Aprakrit Harinam, he is Swayam Nam himself. Why? Because whatever there in Prakrit Jagat, there is no difference between Nam and Nami. In Prakrit Jagat, if you are just speaking uh, the name of a person or some object, then name and the object, there is there is gapping of Maya in that. Maya actually has just uh, put a barrier or a wall in front of an object. Whether you are just speaking of, per, of a person or an object, whether you are speaking the name of that person or object, that is uh, different from each other. There is some capping. What is that barrier? That is the actual gapping of Maya. So Prabhupada speaking, that Prakrit Harinam is Swayam Nami, that Shri Nam is Swayam self-manifested. If someone is taking uh, some pressure on Harinam Prabhu, nothing will happen because it is self-manifested. This self-manifested was to object, 
that a prakrit vastu cannot be prakrit this shri naam prabhu is swayam self manifested object shri hari naam naam can do anything by naam everything this creation destruction maintenance everything i have done told it 5 5 years back about this as well
yes it is uh, harinam is talking with devotees there are lot of thousands of examples regarding this that chota vipra and uh, big vipra you have already heard the story they have just went to vrindavan for trith paryatan and after that they have just uh, got uh, harinam and uh, that chota vipra has just uh, called uh, krishna as in the form of sakshi so that krishna vigra he is just uh, praying to vigra krishna you just need to go with me just need to prove in front of them that you are my sakshi you are my proof i have just spoken in front of them that uh, krishna will come in front of you when the big vipra speaking that uh, i will definitely give my daughter in, in uh, your hand so i have just uh, spoken in front of you as a sakshi that uh, it is not at all possible because i am a very low born brahman and you are my sakshi so why you are actually not listening to me that uh, i have just i am giving it to your daughter to you so what do you can speak vigra can come here so that's why he is actually speaking and promising in front of that krishna vigra that uh, just by speaking hari naam prabhu you are my sakshi so if uh, some uh, situation arises then i will just call you and you just need to come with me like this uh, he is speaking and that time what happened that uh, small vipra just uh, came there to ask uh, krishna uh, krishna actually you just need to come with me actually he is speaking that chota actually he is not a small, no, normal person he is actually he is a devotee so he is talking with uh, bhagwan vigraha and bhagwan is uh, he is speaking that if vigra can come you haven't haven't have you heard that vigra will walk no no he, 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 the vigra can uh, walk the vigra can speak also if he can speak then definitely the vigra can walk also so okay definitely he is just taking gopal there there is one siddhant vichar in this that a chota vipra small vipra at that time he is speaking what vigraha na ho tumhi shakshat prajanna tum vigraha that you are not vigra you are swayam bhagwan such uh, swayam nandan nandan you are just coming in the form of vigra just to do keep on us so that a pragrit shabd naam that krishna naam krishna naam has come in the form of naam in form of us in this kaliyuga so vibhu chaitanya that uh, naam is just used to speak can speak also that hari naam and those who are doing hari naam that are also chetan vastu now you can understand what prabhupada is speaking this uh, secret so whatever i told you previously if someone is speaking to that you can speak with this wall how it is possible you can speak with wall no it is not why because wall is a chetan vastu object so that's why we are also in a chetan situation and bhagwan is complete chetan so that's why uh, we can't talk with bhagwan but still we can talk with whom those who are uh, at the platform of purn chetan uh, object at that platform with guru vaishnav they can talk definitely they can i have already seen it practically also we know in we know in vinod bihari math in calcutta when i just went to vrindavan after vrindavan i am just uh, staying there for some time i have seen that uh, maharaj ji paman goswami maharaj actually just came out of the just taking uh, vigrah darshan at that time he was not doing that sik leela but still uh, i have seen maharaj ji he was not doing that much sickness leela that time but then he just came down and in front of vigrah nobody is there i am just uh, standing behind him just seeing he just at 10 or 11 o'clock maybe that everyone was going and nobody is there there is only pujari just came out of the temple and maharaj just paid dandavat and in in front of vigra is speaking to vigra i have seen practically how he is doing what he is doing i have i can't understand i have also seen my gurudev also so it is possible prabhupada always used to speak with vigra so it is possible how how it is not possible it is possible so prabhupada actually has uh, just uh, opened the secret in front of us that who all wants to do hari naam definitely for him he has to get to on to that stage he has to come to that stage you can understand this point prabhupada speaking that who want to do hari naam who are doing hari naam definitely they have to come to that param chetan platform they are actually just talking with that uh, 
complete Chetan Bhagwan only because he is Bhagwan himself, this Shabd Brahm. So the, by just talking like this, Harinam Prabhu, Prabhupada speaking about Harinam Prabhu, that uh, this Harinam Prabhu actually speaking, Hey Harinam, I am actually, I am your servant. I am under your guidance. I have just taken your shelter now. And whatever you will do, I'll, I will do that. And who will, if you will not take that, I will not take that. I will not do that at all. That Harinam, in order to do Harinam, who always used to do Harinam, because Harinam is the topmost sadhan and the last sadhan. And what is Harinam, who is already doing Harinam all the time? That Harinam Prabhu, he is actually under his shelter. Those who are doing Harinam have just taken shelter of Harinam in their life, have just uh, got the Anugatya of Harinam, have taken Namashray. That is actually Vastav Sadhu. Otherwise, others are all are cannot be called Sadhu at all. They are not at all called Sadhu, have not taken shelter of Harinam. That Krishna Nam has just came in the form of Krishna. And it is very important to understand that just to take shelter of Krishna Nam Prabhu. And in front of anyone, we don't need to go in front of anyone. That is. What does this mean actually? What do you mean by this point? Srila Rupa Goswami Bhad has written this. Prabhupada actually speaking. It means that Nikhil means all. Nikhil means all the all Siddhi and everything. Whatever is there. Everything is in front of Nam Brahm, it is just coming and they have just given the they have just given the crown like Brahmaji has given the crown they have given the crown of his head and he is giving him the and in the Dwarka also lot thousands of Brahmajis have come on in the Dwarka and from different different Brahman they have come. There it is also written there. You can just see that it is written there. That this Brahma he has four head but still he has that crown on his head and that with his head he is actually doing Vandana of Krishna Nam and all the time all the Brahmajis are just speaking all the Vandana of uh, Krishna Nam and it is with that crown each and every crown is just talking with the other crown because the crown of Brahmaji is not like a simple crown it has uh, topmost jewels in that and diamonds are there on the head and that light is coming from the uh, crown and they are just seeing the lotus feet of Krishna by that so here also Prabhupada actually writing this point That Harinam Prabhu, when we are just taking shelter of Nam Prabhu, who all the material world, Ved Vedanta, they are actually taking just like on the head, like a crown, just they are taking shelter of Harinam Prabhu. And they are just requesting in front of Nam Prabhu. With full Sharnagati, they are just speaking and they are just doing Arati. It's just like it's like Arati they are doing. But they are actually the Shruti Smriti. They are actually all kind of uh, crown they are taking on their head and they are just doing Pranam with their head down. It looks like that uh, that they are they are doing the Arati of the uh, lotus feet of Nam Prabhu. It looks like some Arati is going on of the lotus feet of Nam Prabhu. Here 
actually there is a very important point that uh, Harinam is Muktukul Erupasimanam. Muktukul, by that Muktukul, that is the topmost Upasya to Harinam. And Mukta means, you can understand, there is general conception of Mukti if it comes, that Vishya Mukti, that is okay, this is okay. That after getting this out of this material bondage, only it is possible you can have the darshan of Guru. And after that, that mantras can also come manifest inside, in front of you. But here, Rup Goswami Pad actually is speaking. That is not cheap what he is speaking here. Here actually he is speaking that, that who actually fully muktukul, that is who is Paramhans, who is uh, all the time doing the Harinam of uh, Bhagwan all the time. Actually, if he is getting uh, material cut out of material bondage, he is coming, definitely he will uh, come to that stage. But that is also a point, then when he is not becoming mukt, when he is not coming to that uh, Paramhan stage, when he is not cutting his bondage, up till that point, to do Harinam is not possible. The Harinam, actual Harinam will not come on the tongue. And Mukt Kularupasiman, there is actually an inner meaning that all those Paramahans, Guru Vaishnav, those who are always in the Leela of Bhagwan, just by Harinam, they are just getting Mukt Kulay. So that in this way, uh, Rupa Swami was speaking like this and doing Bandana of Harinam. And I have already told this yesterday also about this, that in Shikshashtakam, that the second shlok, I am just describing that. And here actually under the Anugatya of Bhakti Muthakur and Prabhupada, I was speaking that uh, Bhagavan Nam, Gone and Mukhya, there are two Nams. Maybe they are all the same, but that there is different, different uh, uh, main, main names like uh, all uh, Krishna. All these are Madhurja Vikra. These are the these are the prominent names of the Madhurja Vikra. Means they are the Mukhya Nam, main names. And in the way of Madhurya and in the way of Ashwarya, all these are Mukhya names. Apart from this, you can do the Harinam that Paratvara, Kileshwar, Parabrahm, etc. All these are the Gaon Nam. Jagannath. Jagannath. He is actually the Lord of Universe. We are not speaking it directly the name of the Ram, uh, Bhagavan. So, and in Gajendra Moksha, by at the time of Gajendra Moksha, we can see the Gaon Nam. Gaon Nam is speaking there. Gajendra Ji, that, hey Bhagwan, that I am not speaking the name, but indirectly he is calling Bhagwan. So, he is actually speaking the Vedan Sutra there. He is actually calling Bhagwan only, but not directly. Like this actually he is calling Bhagwan. So, that Gaun Naam, in Gaun Naam, there can be uh, some power, but in uh, Anshik Swarup. Can Anshi, in Anshik Swarup, uh, power is there. In parts, not in complete. It is in parts, the power is in parts. Jeev actually is coming in this destructible Maya and is just getting bonded into this destructible Maya and is just calling his own uh, ill luck. And for his ill luck, we can't uh, speak anyone, uh, uh, anyone uh, for that. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahabharan also it is written, it is a proof that Maharaj just by speaking, uh, just taking food, prasadam, as suddenly someone has just cut your tongue and some blood is coming out of that. So in this situation, what you will do? Who you will uh, give the uh, responsibility that he has done this? Automatically you have just cut that tongue. By your teeth, you have just cut your tongue. Then who who will go? 
how uh, to whom whom you will go and uh, speaking that so this jeev is actually just uh, getting his own karam for bhagwan is not speaking that you should do this you should do that bhagwan is speaking and and again bhagwan speaking etc all bhagwan has spoke speaking but someone has heard this someone must have heard this but i haven't heard okay you haven't heard that's not a problem but here actually uh, jeevas are just calling their own ill luck and because of anya bilas so much inside their heart they just want this uh, uh, topmost uh, what it looks like sukh they just want that and different different kind of vishay they are just getting asakt in that wanted in that and sometimes there are some more persons there that they don't want uh, uh, bhog and they don't want tyag just they just need to leave both uh, bhog and tyag they are thinking that they are actually just want to get that uh, impersonal brahma he is actually just getting into impersonal brahma and he just want to attain that impersonal brahma feature of bhagwan he is speaking this om um, brahmasmi and uh, by this all these uh, all those uh, just want to go to heaven they want all the kind of uh, complete happiness material happiness and uh, they do both they just want to leave this bhog and tyag all both whatever kind of bhog and whatever kind of enjoying mood or uh, some tyag is there they just want to he just want to get out of that and uh, he always is actually worshiping that impersonal feature of brahma bhagwan and he is just getting into this bondage of maya so do just to do krishna seva to get krishna seva this kind of desire what is there inside the jivas it is there in the swarup of the nitya dharma of all the jivas bhagwan has so whatever uh, serving mood we have that uh, towards krishna it is already there in permanent form inside us but we can't see that now because of bondage so like this whatever bhog or whatever tyag or both the enjoying mood and not to enjoy in this actually when you are coming there is no um, advantage in that sometimes sometimes dharma artha kaam and moksha all these mostly three were come dharma art kaam all the time they are busy in that so adharma anarth atva adharma anarth ko kamna karna and whatever desire Uh, they are just increasing their material desires because the desire is not uh, getting completed so desires will not get complete at all that already in bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written that if you we are thinking that today or tomorrow i will just be uh, pulling off my desires material day and after that i will be doing hari bhajan then your body when you you will just leave your body what you will do you can't do anything in that case so in this case we just by uh, running towards material desires you are just taking a risk that's why hari bhajan is instant hari bhajan hari katha is all instant at that point only it is just no it is not like you will do it later it is on the spot you have to do pralan maharaj ji actually speaking to his friends lot of things regarding bhagavad bhajan that you see this uh, bhog rajya what you are just taking this you will just be getting it in uh, all lives but you will not get bhagwan at all guru vishnu will not get very uh, lucky if you are then only you will get parlad maharaj is speaking this point you see that the balak all my friends you just remember this point by just 
happiness, material happiness, all persons are running for that. Maybe he is doing whatever he wants, but they just want to just remove uh, uh, unhappiness and just to get happiness. Whether it is getting in their life, no, not at all. It is already written there. We are just getting, we are already married for our uh, happiness only. All this money we have just gathered and after that what happened? Everything just get destroyed, everything. Our whole um, luck is destroyed by that. And now we will be just uh, speaking in front of Samadhi when he is already gone. Lot of uh, material songs are there, they are speaking, they are singing. So like this it is there. Now you can see that, oh friends, this actually happiness, what it looks like, of this material happiness is there. This is just this is just for our sense gratification we are doing. Definitely you will get that. Definitely those uh, birds and uh, beasts are also getting that same thing. That by this body they are just uh, uh, materialistic thing. This is not actually uh, life. In every each and every uh, even even that uh, sewer is there who is just taking stool and even all the time that sugar is there. So he's that is his happiness. He is getting that. Like actually the un distress distress or unhappiness nobody is calling, but it automatically comes. That oh uh, unhappiness you come to me. It is not like that. But it comes automatically. Nobody is actually is calling unhappiness. Somebody is calling unhappiness. It is coming automatically. This stressfulness in our life. Bhagavan is speaking this thing during the time of Govardhan Puja. So, that, that, what to do? So, you see. This, uh, the whole world is actually running for this material happiness. So a lot of actually cutting and whatever, all actually fighting is going on. For what thing? For what purpose? What is the actual reason behind that? Because they don't know actually what is actually peacefulness, where you will get actual happiness. They don't know the actual address of that. They are all like uh, dump as they are just moving towards the material happiness. And all those material bonded uh, jivas are also going behind them only. Who will just listen? Act all they have just left. They are actually, all education is also gone. That after just learning that, they will be saying that uh, we need this education. I have already seen that. That he is actually studying in 11th class. Still he don't know about uh, the general English also. So what kind of degree he has done? No use. He, what he will just be washing the degree and taking water so nothing will happen so they are actually all going towards their own destruction all they are going towards their own destruction each and every place I am just speaking on a neutral platform not minister also but we are also in the name of bhajan we are going towards destruction in the name of bhajan we are just going towards destruction and these people, they are giving mobile and all, all news I am getting. Why? Because they are just want to give the, in the way, they just want to go on the pathway of destruction so that they can't just uh, f point out the finger that you, uh, you haven't given us this. So they don't have anything. That's why they are going towards destruction. Whatever we just want to uh, all the enjoying mode all fighting just uh, make him just make him there only just uh, divert him there so all these kind of sinful persons are all doing these kind of activities they are just diverting the actual target purposely they are doing that they are just making this kind of purpose and plan and program so definitely that will that there will be fighting in the sampradaya that in the in the temple and all there are all fighting and cutting is going on no father can stop this definitely he is just uh, doing all kind of such uh, sinful things so that we can just get some advantage out of that so that they can do some fighting and we will get some advantage and uh, 
definitely they will be spreading all the diseases and they are thinking that our medicine will everyone will take so this kind of uh, things are going on and the situation is very dreadful now in the whole bhakti rajya just for a normal greediness just for normal uh, for their own self interest they are just uh, destroying whole material world they are just speaking all should go in water what to do we just need this so just for their own self interest they are doing that but if someone will understand it then only it is possible to speak so pralad maharaj actually speaking that in past present and future so what actual time is there is no definition of this time if someone actually asking that what is actually time what is actual definition of time give us a definition einstein is speaking only one word time is nothing but movement that is a truth but still this definition is not complete because you can't speak about time to that thing which you cannot express in words you cannot it is not possible to express that in front of uh, front of you in form of words so time is actually nothing but movement but it is just like a movement just like a current of water you can see and uh, this time in the olden days also previous days 5 to 10000 years back if you go and 50000 years back you can go einstein has just told us this kind of uh, which are and uh, ahead also of the time we can go so this is actually time travel it is very uh, much is, it is very difficult to understand so this uh, past present and future in the background of past present and future what this material happiness and uh, distressfulness there is no existence because your body don't have existence your atma has existence but this material body has no no existence in the background of past present of uh, there is no existence at all of a form material body but uh, but atma has existence because atma is just taking this body and just leaving this body this is the actual work so all this uh, all the persons are just busy in this uh, material world for material enjoyment and all the time they are sometimes dharma artha kaam and all this dharma artha kaam they are just busy in that they are not even all taking adhar adharm anarth just want to just become greedy for all this and they are doing 10 kinds of different kind of nama aparad they are doing because it automatically will be done if your person is going on a uh, negative direction negative way in the way of bhajan then definitely nama aparad will come nama aparad automatically will come in real life that is natural all they are actually just calling all 10 times of naam aparad and when you will be doing naam seva then definitely they will be calling naam aparad in their life and naam akshar is externally they are speaking but they are doing naam aparad babu naam aparad sada naam aparad ishop jani vibhai krishna bhakti rupa krishna bola who is speaking jagdanan pandit speaking this point babu naam aparad sada naam aparad ishop jani vibhai krishna bhakti rupa it is not possible like this then all 10 aparad have just come slowly steadily in you and when it is come there then this 10 aparad that person who is actually doing uh, naam aparad is doing naam and those who is taking naam definitely that is not at all actual actual shuddha naam he is actually naam aparadi just for his own uh, unpeacefulness mind with his unpeacefulness mind he is actually just in the uh, target of that peacefulness in his life he is just uh, just uh, leaving that uh, bhakti uh, bhav from his heart and he is actually just getting uh, uh, getting uh, shelter at uh, the sambandh gyan then after that that nama bhas is he is getting he is a very uh, far distant point that unpeacefulness what is there inside your heart when you are leaving that that unstability of your heart when you are just leaving that and you are getting that uh, moral that i will be just getting that peacefulness and you are just throwing that all the bhakti enjoying mood and just to get that mukti when you are not get contaminated by that mukti bhav 
you are not at all guided by the mukti and when you will be just be thinking of your own mangal and uh, he is just thinking about his own mangal he is just getting pratishtis in sambandh gyan still sambandh gyan is not get activated now who who is doing harinam at that point that is called nama bhas just by leaving naam aparad and what is there related to that naam when he the sambandh gyan is not yet activated that is called naam abhas when he is doing hari naam at that situation it is called naam abhas after that shri naam abhas what is the actual result of naam abhas just from this all material bondage we can just uh, cut that and slowly steadily we can just get the seva of hari and that kind of which are can definitely come inside him to do hari seva or not to do because sometimes just after just getting uh, uh, getting relieved from three modes of material nature he is just going in the uh, other pathway apart from serving attitude so at this time that after getting mukti definitely in order to do hari seva that kind of pathway is open for us and jo mahapurush log all those mahapurush mahajans paramhans vaishnav jin logo jin logo prakriti those are already getting out of this material nature material modes of nature all those purushottam all those mahapurush they are actually going shuddha naam and they are doing actual shuddha naam and those who are actually taking this shuddha naam they are becoming getting that sumimal krishna prem inside their heart that's why bond, material, bonded uh, souls bonded jeevas have uh, so much uh, so much uh, distressfulness and so much efforts they are putting just to get material happiness so much serious uh, dangerous situation this kind of jeevas that's why gor sundar has just taken this uh, importance of harinam with shikshashtakam he is just distributing us in order to give us the instructions how to do harinam and so that we can just that anurag inside our heart towards harinam this mahaprabhu just by his own will speaking like this so that this dangerous situation of fire of this material of this material bondage all the jeevas can come out so in order to do that this harinam pranali mahaprabhu has given us in the form of instructions of called shikshashtakam and he is speaking by his own will that you have anam prabhu has just given us so much facilities to us so this kind of anurag should uh, get inside my heart but my luck is so ill that this kind of anurag is not getting inside my heart and this is my very ill luck that this harinam is not at all getting inside my heart that to do actual harinam that uh, condition is not getting in my life i am not unable to do that and to to just get out of this nama prat it is very important to get out of that slowly steadily bhagwan this actual nama vas we are getting mukti Uh, we have already told the story of ajamil but i don't have time now yesterday also i have told something about that in bangla katha i have told like uh, i can't remember maybe in hindi katha i have told that uh, i have told that those who are kanishth adhikaris there are three grades in that in kanishth adhikari their nimna star the low low grade in the low grade of kanishth adhikari they that harinam is not at all possible actual harinam they are that is called nama bhas their harinam is nama bhas or and those kanishth adhikari those who are going in their uttam grade at that time according just by the grip of krishna they are just getting one uh, uh, shuddha harinam only one shuddha harinam and they become vaishnav and those who are doing all the time shuddha naam that is called topmost vaishnav and by those that you are just by seeing uh, him you are uh, inside your heart you are just getting uh, the uh, desire to do harinam then that is called the topmost uttam paramhans vaishnav so nama vas is getting mukti and just to get out of the material bondage 
and the jivas are getting the adhikar in naam brahm just to speak harinam after that and this kind of vichar actually mahaprabhu just by his own desire speaking in chaitanya charitamrit who has spoken this mahaprabhu has spoken this in chaitanya charitamrit he is speaking Up till this point, Shriman Mahaprabhu has uh, spoken in Shri Shikshashtakam. This second shlok, I have already done this. Just by uh, very normal discussion, I have done. Was it is not possible to do lot of discussion? And uh, the third shlok is very important. Here, Mahaprabhu actually speaking that. means that who is actually speak thinking himself uh, more uh, humbler than a blade of grass and uh, in his life he is having that uh, humble attitude has tolerance power more than the trees and he is whatever his own respect he don't have any kind of uh, um, thinking and he is all the time giving respect to others this is for them only for them only hari kirtan is possible to do he can do all the time hari sankirtan that is the actual symptom appropriate symptom adhikar that is appropriate symptom of a hari kirtan kari who is doing hari kirtan all the time to do hari naam that the at actual adhikar maybe hari naam can be very less he is doing that after that he will be taking this adhikar only after that only he can be do hari naam now the person can speak that i can stop doing hari naam maybe this adhikar is we can get it or not after that only getting that adhikar i will be doing hari naam as uh, because i don't have the adhikar to do hari naam so i will not be doing hari naam this is not the point actually guru mere guru maharaj used to speaking joking mood gurudev always used to give instruction to us just by in joking mode vishnu bhavo baba ji ko bhavo ji we actually we not we become pranadapi in this life so what to do so in joking mood gurudev used to speak that everything is there inside you but pranadapi is there it means that uh, nothing is there inside you the final result is nothing is there inside you so that's why vishnu bhavo chilo mone varsha pranadapi bhav sune pranadapi bhav sune pranadapi bhav sune pranadapi bhav sune now actually to become not to become now i can't be vishnu i can just show everything to you oh maharaj uh, all kind of braveness i can show but still tranadapi is not possible for me how it is possible to become tranadapi it is not possible so on this point lot of pandit have just given commentary on this point and they have just given the description on this and if we cannot become tranadapi suni tarorapi sahishnuna so some somewhere it is in gaudiya gaudiya mat it is it in taro rapi somewhere it is in taro rivo so shila sant ko swami mara has written in article that tranadev is sunichen na uh, here it is written uh, what uh, that atindya das adhikari has uh, written there in his article taro rapi sahishnuna so that the editor actually is just uh, taking this article in front of prabhupad actually what he has written let me see prabhupad tarand tarana bhi suji jana taro rapi sahishnu na he is written ma prabhu is this is actual uh, he is actually cutting the um, article of ma prabhu what ma prabhu has written prabhupad speaking how oh, he is speaking right yes he is right there is no wrong in this ma prabhu has written this okay but so that we can just uh, uh, just remember one point when sarbham bhattacharya ka sath mahaprabhu with mahaprabhu he is actually speaking with mahaprabhu regarding vedant at that time sarbham bhattacharya he is actually speaking one shloka of mah uh, bhagavad gita mahapuran jive to bhakti pade sadaiva he is speaking jive to bhakti pade sadaiva i mean that uh, Here actually there can be a chance of nama prad, and you can't understand this point. 
some shastra when you are just picking up you are just uh, changing the word of shastra there the nama prad you can gather 100% but here what happened if we actually just be doing there it is written kirtan we will change that so it is not possible that will come in nama prad so prabhupada and guru var always used to speak that where that kirtan is written there you just need to do that if you will change that according to yourself then definitely you will get uh, aparad 100% you will just get you will be tying in aparad whatever narottam das thakur has written you have this kind of audacity that you can change that kirtan no it is not possible that will come in nama aparad if you do that so lot of uh, things are there if i will just be speaking in front of you there can be some things that you will just get angry with me now what to do in that but definitely it is important to speak in front of you about all this narottam das thakur has uh, uh, all, already written in his kirtan a lot of time like narottam das thakur has written this and a uh, lot of then i have mercy uh, like lot of dhanya he has written so in order to just change this dhanya we don't have this much adhikar to change it whatever he has written we just need to speak like that only we, we just to change that it means it is naam aparad it will definitely come in naam aparad if you change that so this is the kind of thing so pro sarvam bhattacharya why has just uh, changed that uh, Why Sarvam Bhatta Jaya has changed that in front of Sakshat Parat Parakileshwar Bhagwan Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is changing that. You see, in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is changing the shloka of Bhagavatam. Jive to bhakti paye sadai baad. Mahaprabhu actually speaking in front of why you are actually speak just changing this uh, word of shlok. Sarvam Bhatta Jaya actually is written. You have just changed this shloka. Why? Sarvam Bhatta Jaya is speaking that Prabhu ji. now actually i can't stay now actually now i i can't speak this word mukti i can't speak this word mukti in front of you i don't have this kind of grudge to speak this word now now inside my heart this jive to mukti pade sadai va this mukti shabd i can't speak this i am just finding it very bad to speak mukti just like a uh like just like a fox i'm just speaking gayo 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 i'm speaking that but uh, just by your kripa in my life and i'm getting now i can understand that this kind of nectar i am just getting and now this time i just need to do nectar what from a lotus mouth and prabhu prabhu actually speaking what is the actual reason to change that maybe you can speak that uh, mukti mukti pad means uh, onto that lotus feet mukti is there you can just change that vyakaran you can just uh, mean by that now you can speak like that this meaning can be done sarva matte jare speaking but still i can't speak this word mukti now i can't speak this now so that after that shriman mahaprabhu has become so much happy after this why because the actual glorification of bhakti just to do commentary on that then mahaprabhu becoming very happy because sarvam bhatta jada is not going doing any negative uh, vyakha of that that is more practical to get jive to bhakti pade sadai that is more practical because bhakti is glorified there where in bhagavatam it is written jive to mukti pade sadai what is mukti the actual meaning of mukti that is uh, one and the same in bhagavad ji mahapuran jive to mukti pade sadai that what is the actual meaning of that that uh, the meaning what sarva matte jare speaking that's why mahaprabhu is not getting angry with him why because why he will get angry because that is the actual uh, uh, meaning of that word that is the inner meaning of that is bhakti pade sadai pad the actual meaning of that word that is actual meaning so that's why he is not becoming an angry mahaprabhu prabhupad also not getting angry why because that is the actual true point santu ko what uh, uh, santu ko swami pad has just written this jivere swarup ko guru nitya das prabhupad become so happy that prabhupad speaking that the reader speaking you see radha raman has just uh, he is actually your child he is changing it prabhupad speaking and he is speaking right what is speaking this definitely is right only 
that Baldao Nitanand Prabhu Krishna will come later, no, because Baldao is Guru Tattva. So this is the actually inner meaning of Shastra. If you just by taking that, you will just be fighting with that, arguing with that is not good. So Taro Rupi, which, which is written here, there is actually no fault in that. There is no fault in that. Why? Because uh, literally that uh, Guru, Dev, Guru Varga are more uh, humbler than uh, the trees. They have more tolerance than the trees. That is the actual point. That is the absolute truth. Maybe Bhakti Nur Thakur actually speaking here. This point actually speaking, no? Mahaprabhu is just want to just uh, told this point that like a tree you are just cutting it and still the tree is not speaking anything you maybe that no smell of water is there but still tree is not asking you water whatever he is asking some some like the flowers and some some fruits and some they are asking some uh, something from tree so tree is giving everything to them but tree is not uh, asking anything from them so that is the glorification of this uh, word that mahaprabhu actually speaking in the 10th canto krishna is speaking to his friends in bhagavatam that is the topmost uh, this uh, human birth they are actually uh, living for others they are even the dog is living for himself even a dog and cat they are actually living for themselves what is the actual uh, target of their living they are actually living for others pure vaishnav but if sadhu guru vaishnav will become like that then what will happen it is not at all possible everything their life whatever is there it actually giving for others everything they are giving it for Bhagwan and for others so that they can get mangal in their life that is the actual uh, uh, characteristic of a sadhu so Prabhupada actually speaking this point that Haridas Thakur they were he was just getting beaten up in 22 markets and even in one market if we will just beat you I will definitely die you know, in 22 markets actually Haridas Thakur just got beaten up you see oof you can't even imagine that all the market people they are just uh, started crying why you are uh, beating him but still Haridas Thakur uh, he is just uh, uh, speaking onto lotus feet of Nam Prabhu that those who are actually just beating me they should not get a mangal so whether the tree can speak like this the tree can't speak like this only Haridas Thakur can speak so that's why this is the correct point the Siddhant is actually correct. That if you speak that like Mahaprabhu is speaking like this, okay, Mahaprabhu is thinking that up, up, after this nobody can go. But Prabhupada actually has just, just spoken the inner meaning of this point. The Rorupi Sahishwana. Maybe more than a tree. So these kind of qualities, whatever the qualities and characteristics are there, these are actually more than impossible. These kind of characteristics to get that inside us, it is not, uh, it is more than impossible for us to get that. But still, it is not impossible, then only we can't do Harinam. And when Harinam is there, then we can't go to Bhagwan. So, all these points actually, everything will go in sand. So, if someone is actually like Tathakatit, those who that realize soul is speaking, that Maharaj, that I can't do, like it is already written that uh, this point I can't do in my life. So how to do Harikirtan then? Maharaj, this kind of point can't be possible in my life. Already written in Archan Paddhati also it is written. That uh, if someone is just fallen on the ground, just uh, that if someone has just fallen on the ground and how to just get up, it is already, he already slipped down on the ground. So he just need to take the support of the ground only to just get up. That is the actual rules. If someone has just fall down, just slipped on the ground, definitely has to take the support of ground only in order to get up. That 
ground only is the only support for him. So Harinam, how we can do Harinam? This kind of characters is not inside us. This Trana the Pishuni chain. When it will come, we don't know. So we should stop do Harinam. No, 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 not like that. This kind of ajar is absurd. So when we will become when we will become pratishtit in this shlok, definitely we will do Harinam. Before that we will not do. This is actually foolishness. When actually we actually just uh, uh, just practice the swimming. At that time our master, swimming master, actually just used to throw me into the water. And just by taking water slowly, steadily in my mouth, I was, he has already practiced that. So, without taking the water inside our mouth, how we can just practice swimming, you tell me. Or if someone will can, speaking that Prabhupada is just speaking one joking in front of us. He is speaking one story in front of us. That in uh, one village, there is one old woman and he has one son. And means it's not his husband. Actually, this one old woman and one child is there. And uh, this child is going to the school daily and he just need to go to the school by just uh, 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 going over the river and there is actually no boat actually i have already heard the story of lal bahadur shastri also at the time of going to school so much kilometer he used to walk and so much time he has to swim and after that he just uh, reached the school i was actually very surprising to hear and i have done on my own also when I was doing Brajimandal Parikrama, very lot of time I have done. One time what happened, there is one confusion because I don't know the actual way, where to go. I just go on to the, I just asked Brajavasi at ba, actually how to go to this place now. Baba, actually you have just come uh, reverse direction. You just came 8 kilometers reverse. So what to do actually now? I don't have any time to go back because it's already evening time. So you can do one thing. You can just see the canal, you just can just swim there and just can go away. And uh, somebody speaking, Maharaj, you know what kind of depth is there in the canal, you don't know. If you will just get uh, in inside canal, what to do? I will definitely, okay, I will die, not a problem. Okay. So in that, what happened, some Brajwasi actually seeing that by those, the, the just having that... Uh, they are just taking the all those uh, ox and cows from that above the canal. So I just got that chance. I am just by taking the tail of that cows and I'll just be going off the canal. I don't have any cloth also. If not there, okay, no. I'll be just be crossing that canal. Uh, with that copine, I'll be just uh, going on out of that. And like this, I have just uh, get out of the canal. So... This is a very important point. This Prabhupada always is speaking this story that there is uh, this uh, all those old people speaking that uh, oh Maya, oh old woman, you see this child, he just uh, ask the, your child to just get swimming. Oh no, no, she will just get drowned in water. What are you foolish? You just need to tell him how to practice swimming. Maybe some whatever situation can arise in his life the definitely child will uh, get die before that you just need to uh, tell him how to swim so Prabhupada actually speaking this after that what happened when that child is with very intelligent mood he is speaking that yes I will definitely practice I will definitely practice swimming if some master is there that without water he can just uh, <laughs> Uh, tell me how to swim then you see how intelligent that child is very foolish Prabhupada actually speaking you see this child is becoming so much intelligent in front of me that without getting into the water who can practice swimming it is not at all possible and there are a lot of examples Prabhupada speaking I will definitely be talking it tomorrow very nice so this the thing is there that before getting Tranadipi we will not be doing Harinam this is not the point it, it means that uh, we haven't uh, practiced swimming and uh, after practicing swimming only I'll get into the water. So definitely when you were into the water, only that point only you will practice swimming, no? So it is not that you just need to stop Harinam at that point. Slowly and steadily, just when we'll be moving towards from Sadhana Kriya to Sadhana Bhakti, 
slowly steadily will be moving up in our bhajan and when our sadhan bhakti will start that namabhas namabhas where it will stay if we are just taking the anugatya of gurudev then the whole life that namabhas will be there no 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 not at all that mahaprabhu has given this kind of instruction to us that mahaprabhu hasn't told us this mahaprabhu has hasn't told us this point so namabhas will going on so definitely our sadhan bhakti will start and or we will be just moving after sadhan bhakti we will just be getting more interest in hari naam and this all aparad will be going away and all these ten kinds of naam aparad will also go away and that taste of hari naam that chidanandamaya hari naam that full of nectar that hari naam we will just be tasting that and after that and that day will also come in our life then we chose my heart will just be doing hari naam all the time it is written there i am not speaking on my own it is written there that situation will definitely come in my life that uh, my heart is just going for hari naam all the time this kind of situation will definitely come so this is by just by the krip of sadhu guru vishnu why because this how we can leave this hari naam we that sadhya sadhya sadhan is all the same for him now what actually it is sadhan for us so oh, one leg is done okay now i will not do but for them this mahapurush this is the sadhya tattva this is not sadhan hari naam is actually swayam sadhya tattva for him sadhya means hari naam that with hari naam he is getting the darshan of hari with that that's why mahaprabhu is speaking to haridas bhagu in front of haridas thakur what actually disease you have actually no disease is there mahaprabhu my body is good but my heart is not good is unstable by actually speaking actually hari naam is not uh, complete i am not getting my naam to actually you just speak less naam you are actually siddh mahatma you can just speak less naam no 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 it is not possible mahaprabhu it is impossible for me to do that. that's why haridas thakur is just not taking even water and prasadam also when govin just taking prasadam in front of haridas thakur why i am actually speaking this point in front of you so much actually effect is there of this that what is that mahaprasadam has just came in front of haridas thakur and the rules are this that after taking mahaprasad after you just need to respect that mahaprasadam but haridas thakur speaking actually i can't take mahaprasadam i don't have adhikar because my hari naam is not complete so what to do uh, you just take give the prasadam only just one particle of the prasadam taking in mouth and just doing hari naam and because today i can't do my hari naam today so that is the top most nectar that hari naam that uh, haridas thakur has just left food for that nectar of hari naam when he is getting that what is that nectar that madhvendra puripad is just he is who was not uh, asking any milk from someone also so what kind of nectar is there in hari naam that mahaprabhu is just getting uh, rolling on the ground something will be there in hari naam something will be there we don't know about that but definitely something will be there all the people are mad definitely something will be there it is not inside my mind but still the meaning is this that that hari naam every in any situation we need to do hari naam before that in uh, in the starting i was just speaking about the actual updesh of prabhupad that in your life just by doing hari naam lot of material uh, things will come inside your mind and definitely it will definitely put you in bondage again prabhupad actually speaking this point that uh, maybe if you will just uh, if you if you will just be uh, proper speaking that okay this material things can come inside your mind at the time of doing hari naam these material things are coming okay let it do but you do hari naam go on doing hari naam but you just need to do that you don't have that kapat bhav inside you that kapat bhav should not be there inside your heart 
ओ महाराज वो टू टू एक्चुअली हे नाम प्रभु यू जस्ट नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल बॉन्डेज सो दैट आई कैन गेट आउट ऑफ दैट सो नो लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल थिंग्स आर कमिंग बट स्टिल यू डोंट स्टॉप डूइंग हरी नाम इन दिस सिचुएशन डेफिनेटली यू डोंट नीड टू स्टॉप हरी नाम देन वॉट टू डू यू गो ऑन डूइंग हरी नाम स्लोली एंड स्टेडली नाम प्रभु वील डेफिनेटली कट ऑफ ऑल द अनर्स एंड स्लोली स्टेडली वॉट विल हैपन दैट चिड माई अपराकृत शुद्ध नाम विल डेफिनेटली गेट ऑन टू अवर टंग मे बी टू डे टूमोरो डेट विल कम डेफिनेटली दैट ऑल दोज मटीरियल थिंग्स आर जस्ट कमिंग इन साइड अवर हार्ट एंड आई विल जस्ट स्टॉप हरी नाम दैट इज नॉट द दैट इज नॉट द क्राइटेरिया सो स्लोली स्टेडली वैन यू आर डूइंग हरी नाम ऑल दोज अनर्थ इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग ऑफ एंड यू आर जस्ट गेटिंग द टेस्ट इन हरी नाम एंड दैट आनंद इज कमिंग इन हरी नाम and you will just be becoming full of happiness this kind prabhu is actually speaking so that's why all these mahapurush harigash thakur namacharya prabhupad bhakti vinod thakur everyone they are all namacharya they are acharya of naam hari naam without becoming the acharya of hari naam nobody can become acharya if uh, by with kapat bhav he is doing that is called kapat acharya so by full heart with full heart he is doing uh, hari naam that is called uh, nam acharya that is the actual rules so he is seen that those who are tranadapi sunich okay actually we are tranadapi sunich who are already pratishthit in that then definitely shuddh hari naam will definitely get manifested before that it is not that we will stop hari naam no no you have to do hari naam but without kapat bhav you need to do you don't do naam aparad you just need to take the support of hari naam not to do any sinful activities not to just disrespect gurudev and guru varg all this you don't need to do and don't do aparad on two lotus feet of sadhu and don't do sadhu ninda not to not to follow the instructions of gurudev they are speaking that all those shiv and demigods are equal to vishnu don't do that and this earth what not to do this is not at all possible it's already written just after hearing the glorification of hari naam and not to follow the after that uh, not to do hari naam and uh, everything uh, karam kaand and everything and to do hari naam is all the same this kind of comes in aparad and those who are ashraddha van vyakti just to give them the updesh of hari naam all kind of aparad will just take you in a circle from all the directions and to do hari naam it is not at all possible that will become impossible for you but but that kind of chesta should be there that aparad should not be there and that is automatic when we will become tranadapi automatically when the person become tranadapi no smell of pratishtha he wants no smell of pratishtha is there inside his heart when there is no smell of pratishtha inside your heart all actually gone when he become tranadapi in this situation then automatically all those aparad will go and quest automatically you haven't understand my point that automatically the aparad will go out because the what is the root cause of aparad actually what is the actual root cause of aparad the root cause of aparad is your false ego so slowly and steadily one by one i'll be just putting you the in front of you what is the actual aparad why you doing aparad it is the false ego behind that that for my pratishtha then when he'll become tranadapi then no aparad will be there there is a less possibility of doing any aparad by chance okay something happened but for that bhagwan will definitely uh, not throw you that is not the rules so that is the rule that tranadapi sunich in order to get pratishtha in that after that in their life uh, they will not get aparad at all in their life there is no chances of getting aparad so in this way continuously we have to do hari naam and we have to do hari kirtan all the time it is going on our tongue at that situation from where actually this hari naam is coming we don't know but still it is coming just before that becoming tranad bhi sunich also before becoming that that i have given you an example if someone has just slipped on the ground definitely that ground is the support to get up take the support of ground and get up so okay we have 
Dan Aparad, okay, I don't know, I was unknown about that. While just take the support of Kripa, of Guru Vaishnav and take the support of Harinam, okay, definitely that Aparad will get rectified. I have already talked in Bangla Katha, I have told this point and yesterday also I have spoken this point. So this is a very actually serious uh, point here, what we need to follow. So it is written in the Kirtan also, Bhakti Nur Thakur has written in Bhajan Rahasya. Very nice, beautiful Kirtan, Bhakti Nur Thakur speaking. and this uh, shloka is just described by Bhakti Nur Thakur in this. So actually s- small shloka has just uh, expressed it in just a detailed discussion of that Bhakti Nur Thakur speaking that in Sri Krishna Sankirtan if you have that will if you want to do Krishna Sankirtan that with very careful mood very carefully you And you have to be become that uh, more uh, uh, humbler than the blade of grass. You just need to make sure. And whatever inside false ego is there, you just need to throw that. And always you think that I am just small, very small, very I am just a bonded jiva, fallen soul. And like the trees which are always having that tolerant wound, so much tolerance, maybe just uh, cutting them and whatever they are just putting in them on fire. But still that tree has that tolerance mood. So have that tolerance mood slowly, steadily. When you will be doing sadhana, you just need to go to that stage. Before that, it is not possible. And if someone actually is doing some hinsa on you, that in return that you want to also do the hinsa with him, this kind of bhav is not at all good. We just need to throw that bhav as well. Madhav Goswami Maharaj has done this. He prati hinsa he has left. Some bhava actually just with the with his desire, willfully he just has just uh, thrown all the disciples of Madhav Goswami Maharaj out of Chaitanya Math. After that uh, he just uh, get the news that they just uh, stayed in uh, one rent room there in Calcutta. What to do? In some devotees just uh, doing some bhiksha there. And after that what happened when uh, in the coming time that Baba just become ill. He has just uh, ill uh, disease of eye and he can't uh, even walk. And when the Maharaj just getting the news, after that Maharaj just taking that Baba with him. You see 
सो मच एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ जोकिंग माधव गोस्वामी मारा इज नॉट जोकिंग एट ऑल ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट गिवन इज स्वामी महाराज ही वॉज जस्ट टेकिंग इट ऑन फ्रॉम द फुटपाथ एंड इज जस्ट डूइंग सो मच सेवा ऑफ हिम एंड आफ्टर फ्रॉम हिज हाउस ही वॉज जस्ट थ्रोन अवे ही हैज जस्ट वन डिजीज एंड ही हैज जस्ट गिवन द गिवन सपोर्ट एट दैट टाइम सो इफ सम वन एक्चुअली जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कट आवर थ्रोट एंड यू इज स्पीकिंग ओके यू कैन कम एंड कट आर थ्रोट नो वरीज सो अप टिल टूडे ऑल्सो आई हैव एंट थ्रोन हिम मे बी ही जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गेटिंग ऑल द मनी एंड डूइंग सो आई एम जस्ट आई एम जस्ट स्पीकिंग दिस दैट आई एम ही हैज नो रिलेशन विद मी आई हैव जस्ट स्पोकन दिस पॉइंट दैट दैट he is actually not at all uh, taking the rules and regulations of mine so that's why i have just given him a separate thing to stay and i have not spoken anything else to him so that he can understand every person can understand that he is not with me otherwise uh, it will be a big uh, disadvantage for me so that is the actual instructions of madhav goswami maharaj whether someone is using foul language or whatever is doing okay no worries but still Uh, actually, I've already learned everything from all these Mahapurush. I don't have anything of mine. So this Baba, just getting this uh, his disease rectified, and one Brahmachari in his seva. Also, if something Baba needs, you just need to give to him, Baba. You just take some money from me, and just whatever requirement is there, you just uh, need to give him. So you see, so much surprising to see this point. He has just kicked Madhav Goswami Maharaj out of the mud. So much hinsa he has done, but after still that, you can see that uh, that prati hinsa bhav is not there in Madhav Goswami Maharaj. So this is not a joke actually. This is the actual thing. And Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking that that or your body. your in order to get your bhajan whatever requirement is required for your body then okay it is good but it doesn't mean that you on others you are just uh, putting uh, oh you have to give me 100 rupees no definitely you have to give this kind of uh, he is actually poor person from where he can give so this kind of uh, attitude is not at all good no 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 maharaj actually from where i am very poor i can't give you no you have to give so this kind of attitude is not good the bhajan even in order to just maintain your bhajan life just to give udveg to others is not good if someone actually is giving you okay okay we will just put it in seva and if he hasn't given okay that is also okay oh no no you give me this much money no this kind of attitude is not good if a sadhu vaishnav guru vaishnav is doing for others only if some doing some bhajan kutir and land everything for seva of bhagwan is not doing for himself someone can come here can stay here somebody can come and stay some devotees can come and stay in that place so this kind of bhav is there in the heart of sadhu not giving udveg to anyone and uh, the other is upkar that param upkar he is thinking all the time this param upkar just to to the just to think the advantage of others he is just uh, putting off his uh, own uh, happiness and advantage and whatever is there in in his life he is just uh, quitting and uh, leaving that for the happiness of others he is actually bhakti mun thakur sir just uh, doing uh, prayer on to lotus feet of bhagwan param upkar can have one definition is also there agar ye param upkar ne jo sukh pasuri Parupkar means mean that exclamation by mission. If you are just uh, thinking like that, you are just giving that uh, giving polio drops to the child or some doing some donation to others and doing some dal and chawal and chapati to others. That is not that is also parupkar. That is not actual parupkar. So this parupkar, this actual meaning, parupkar means. That to Vaishnav to give Vaishnav the, some two chapatis and some clothes that is not parupkar. Param means absolute upkar, absolute uh, upkar. Param means for others, and param means that absolute upkar for others. That to just get all the jivas indulge in Hari Bhajan. That is the 
टॉप मोस्ट उपकार वॉट एवर एक्चुअली अनहैप्पीनेस और डिस्ट्रेसफुलनेस यू आर गेटिंग इन ऑर्डर दैट द जीवर्स जस्ट गेट वॉट एवर सिचुएशन कम्स इन योर लाइफ इन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट बॉन्डेड जीवर्स आउट ऑफ दैट बॉन्डेज इट इज नॉट अ काइंड ऑफ जोक आई एम स्पीकिंग दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट सेव वन बॉन्डेज यू कैन गेट लॉट ऑफ डिस्ट्रेसफुलनेस एंड डिसरिस्पेक्ट द हरिदास ठाकुर he just in order to save that lakshmi hira prostitute can you run this kind of great risk in your life this kind of disrespectfulness can come in your life you can get that risk in your life maybe that disrespectfulness can come in all the society oh your baba has done this that all police will come and just take you but haridas thakur is not at all afraid you can you do this this kind of parokar in order to do that to that bonded jiva so much sanction so much uh, top most sanction that is there in haridas uh, thakur in order to save one girl or one world something uh, reverse negative can happen so disrespectfulness can come in order to save that girl but inside duplicity should not be there that is the thing Our bhakti vallab teeth ko swami mara used to speak that what is your target that is the most vital thing. Always used to speak this that what is the actual target of yours. Udesh, if that udesh that target is good, that the purpose is good. Which what bhav is doing? If it is wrong, then everything is wrong. Maharaj Maharaji always used to speak this point. That I actually used to speak ask Maharaji if I can do this sometimes. After that, uh, I am getting no time. At that time, Maharaji was actually in Puri, in the veranda. Always used to sit there. Actually, I just came here to just take Vishnu Darshan. <laughs> and after that, he just do log and key. Arey, I haven't got any uh, Darshan. <laughs> so you will not take Darshan of Maharaj. No, how? Definitely, I will take Darshan of Maharaj. So after that, it it is done uh, afterwards. All those. so whatever is uh, happiness for our own happiness and all your enjoying mood you are just throwing it for your for others so that others can get the absolute mangal maybe maybe this baba inside his bab that a lot of treasure is there inside his heart maybe he has a maybe he has he has his his educational qualification is a big and his post is uh, he has lot of knowledge is there inside him but still he can he is actually not at all uh, uh, putting uh, in front for anyone and uh, apart from his pratishtha he is always having humble mood inside his heart like rup sanatan lot of qualities infinity qualities are there inside them but still and that and last time in the in the teeth also they are just taking a grass inside their mouth and speaking to ma prabhu oh prabhu just protect me actually there is no pathway open for us prabodhana saraswati or pad also just speaking to us and just guiding us regarding this Oh, what is all this? This is actually the actual examples what our Guru Varg has told in front of us. So definitely it should come inside us also. If we have just done anugatya of our Guru Varg, definitely it will come. If we have not done anugatya, then it will not come. Definitely we will be talking about this tomorrow. That pratis. And each and every jiva there is Krishna Dishtan. Bhagwan has already told himself. Man himself has just uh, accept this point that those who are doing my archan, Bhagwan is speaking himself in eleventh canto, twelfth adhyay. It is written that Udav, he is a very doing lot of archan of me, very nice archan, and I am just uh, sitting inside uh, each and every jiva. He is just speaking, just throwing him, just cutting him, just murdering him. Oh. So actually, he is giving kalesh to me only. He is giving kalesh me to me only because I am inside each and every jiva, and he is just putting them in distress. But this foolish is actually doing archan of me, giving mala to me, and he is just cutting all the jivas, just taking all the land property from them, just be doing uh, 
wrong to all the widows. So you'll become a very big sadhu like that. So like this everything is there. In each and every jiva I am there present. Krishna is there. Inside the, their body. So that's why each and every person you just need to respect him. Like it's written in Bhagavatam also about this. Dog, cat, whatever, beast, whatever, jiva you are saying, you just need to do dandavat. It is written there. <laughs> this kind of vichar is different. You can't understand. In very less time is there. I can't do this vichar. I have seen this uh, in Vrindavan also. That uh, some Baba is there. is very feeble. And whosoever is uh, seeing, is doing dandavat to each and everyone. Whether dogs, monkeys, whatever is there. I actually just remember this point, it's already written in Bhagavatam. Maybe some sadhan definitely is in some sadhan definitely, why, then why he is doing this? How it is possible for him to each and everyone is paying dandvat? All the time he is doing dandvat to each and everyone there. So definitely I have this, this proof is there in Bhagavad Mahapuran. I don't have any time now. Just to give respect to others and to just leave Pratishtha, that should be naturally there inside Vaishnav. All these four qualities should be there. Danya, Daya, just to give respect to others and Pratishtha, just to leave Pratishtha. If some doing some kapat, oh Mara, Dandvat, like this he is doing, he is foolish, he is kapat number one, he is just like Ravan. He is actually just like Ravan, he is kapat. No Danya is there inside him. Prabhupada actually has just given the actual uh, definition of Danya. That those uh, Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav, if you will get that, those who have Danya, they will have definitely not compromise with Sahajiyas. I have already told this point yesterday also in Bangla Katha. That uh, for Pratishta, they will not be compromising with anyone. What is there, it is there. Absolute is absolute. They will speak like that only. They cannot change the absolute. There is no way to change absolute. In their life, that pratishta, there is no smell of pratishta in their life. That is actually taking, speaking that uh, uh, absolute truth of that Aprakrit Jagat. If there is something there, desire for some pratishta, then definitely it is not the purpose of him. So that's why Prabhupada actually speaking. That may be externally that uh, kapat people can do Tranadapi bhav. But uh, what is the actual uh, symptom of Tranadapi? Maybe when we will be seeing that some for very small pratishta and some for money he don't want at all. With the full uh, nirvik bhav he is doing Harinam Hari Sankirtan. That is the actual symptom of Tranadapi. Maybe he is doing oh, Maharaj Dandavad. Externally he is doing but inside he is kapat. Like Prajapati Daksha. Like Prajapati, just like a dumb ass, he has done Aparadha on the lotus feet of Shankar. That's why he has just destroyed himself. You see, he's, he's become Chagun, he just get the head of a ass. So like this, all this Paramahans Vaishnav, that Gauri Shankar, at Shankar Bhagwan, he has just uh, done Aparadha on his lotus feet. He's disrespected him. He think that he hasn't paid attention to me, he has done, not done Pranam to me. He is actually so false ego there in Shankar. Prajapati Daksh thinking like this. Foolish. It's already written there. That whatever Pantha of this uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, he has just, uh, uh, he is actually unintelligent. He is foolish number one. He just by speaking Brahma, he has just given uh, his daughter to Shankar. His eyes are like monkey. He is speaking like this to Shankar Bhagwan. Markat Lochana is like, eyes are like monkey. You can think of this foolish. He is actually speaking so foul words to Shankar Ji Bhagavan. He is Swayam Shankar Bhagavan. He is Vaishnavanam. Vaishnavanam Yathashambhu is speaking foul words to him. So you see, this is the condition. So sometimes also happens these kind of persons that they are maybe external, they are paying dead with all, all eating, waiting, sleeping. He is actually just busy in that only. And he don't know externally that this that sadhu is actually disrespecting him. What is actually there inside his heart? You will definitely just uh, be put into fire. 
यू डोंट नो एक्चुअली बेटा यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट फायर इज डस्ट पार्टिकल विल डेफिनेटली बर्न यू अप वेदर इज स्पिरिचुअल कैरियर इज ऑल गॉन एक्सटर्नली मट मन दे टेम्पल एंड मनी विल इज देयर जस्ट दैट सेट बट स्पिरिचुअल कैरियर इज ऑल गॉन टोटली इज गॉन Externally, maybe he's just in the way of Sadhu is getting every money, position, everything. But his spiritual growth and spiritual life is totally gone. It's totally destroyed. Hundred percent, it's destroyed. You are actually not paying attention to it. Today, actually, I don't have any time. Yesterday, we will be discussing on that. We should definitely and uh, what is called uh, how we can do our Akri Tharinam. And I'll be just speaking on this. We should. So this विषय actually this is a very important point यद कीर्तनम जस्मरनम यदि क्षणम जद बंदनम जस्रवनम जदरहनम लोकोश्य शब्द विदुनोति कलमसम तस्मै शिवत्र सुवसे नमो नमः यत्कीर्तनम यस्मरणम यदी क्षणम यदबंदनम यद्रवणम यदरहनम लोकश्रद विदुनोति कलमसम तस्म शुभद्र शुभसे नमो नम वाछकल्पुर्वश के पास सिंधु पथितान पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नम